Hey everybody! Happy holidays! We are just counting down less than a handful of days until Christmas. And I have a very special guest joining me today. This week I've had a lot of special guests with my daily video. My son, my daughter, my, my, my mom, who's like my second daughter. And this is my first son, actually, Mr. Teddy Hilton. He is 10 years old. Oh, he, he is in heaven right now. Um, speaking of children, let me start off by talking about Khloe Kardashian. She finally confirmed that she is pregnant. Whoopee! No, I'm kidding. Any baby is truly a miracle. Congratulations to her. It's anticlimactic. We knew. <laughs> Same with Kylie Jenner when she announces it. But whatever. Her body, her choice. She can announce it or not when she wants to or if she doesn't want to. But I was surprised that it was trending for so long because we knew. <laughs> Speaking of the Kardashians, I'm so freaking over the 25 days of the Kardashians. I don't know whose idea that was, but it was hashtag stupid. And it's not like they're all working together to build one photo. It's like all these different photos of them and... I'm just angry. I'm upset that I um, am following it and I'm posting every damn day about the 25 days of the Kardashians. Next year, if they do that, I will not be following it along like I have this year. But, you know, I thought it was all leading up to something at the beginning. I'm like, okay, cool. It'll be really a fun reveal at the end and every photo will be like a piece of a puzzle. But no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Like, you're seeing the same people in different poses on different days. It makes no sense to me. And I'm upset that I went down that path. And when you're so deep into something, you feel like you can't go back. Because you've already gone so far into it. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of the Kardashians, Black China is working on a new reality show. Network to be determined. Which means it hopefully won't happen. No, I'm only kidding. If she can find a network to pay her money to be on a reality TV show, good on her. I won't be watching. And one of the many things that will be discussed on the first season of Black China's upcoming new reality show is that she is trying to launch a music career. <laughs> ah! But seriously... If that cast me outside girl can do it, so can Black China, right? And yes, Black China's daughter with Rob Kardashian, Dream, will be featured on the show. Uh, in some couples news, uh, Jennifer Lawrence was rumored to be dating Brad Pitt. Those rumors are not True. In fact, J-Law was just spotted with her ex-boyfriend, director Darren Aronofsky, in New York City. It seems like they're either very friendly exes or have reconciled. I could have seen Brad and her together, though. But I, I, I'm kind of still holding out hope that Brad and Angelina will mend their relationship and make it work. <laughs> uh, on to some uh, news from the Instagram. Romeo Beckham, the son of David and Victoria Beckham, turned 15 years old in September. He posted a photo on Instagram today, which raised a red flag for me. Clearly not for his parents. And that's fine. Every parent does as they see fit. The photo features the just-turned 15-year-old shirtless with his underwear exposed, jeans on, in bed, in what I perceive to be a provocative manner. If that were my son, the photo would be deleted already and he would have his Instagram privileges revoked for a week. I'm real old-fashioned in many ways. Speaking of uh, families... Octomom and her 14 children are back in the headlines. 
You know, like every one a year or twice every or twice every other year, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm trying to get at? Once a year, once every other year. Octomom, formerly known as Nadia, now known as Natalie, resurfaces. And that's because she's got bills to pay and gets paid for interviews. In this new interview, she reveals that she is living paycheck to paycheck. And a lot more. If you want to read up on Octomom, I've got all the details up on PerezHilton.com. In more family-related news... We have found out the inter, inner workings of Hugh Hefner's last will and testament. And this is real smart. This dude thinks about everything did before he passed. According to Hugh's will, if any of his kids... Ah, oh, my feet are killing me. Ah, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I was sitting the wrong way on my feet, on my knees. Okay, oh... Oh, there we go. I feel better. Oh. According to Hugh's will, if any of his kids start using drugs, they are cut off from their uh, trust. If any of the people that receive money from the trust suspect that anybody else, like the siblings or uh, his ex-wives, are using drugs or alcohol or dependent on them, they can inform the trust and they must submit to random testing. Smart. Smart. I may have to consider that. Given, I don't know, but not really. I don't know. I, I, but who knows? I mean, I think it's smart. Better to be overly cautious and prepared than not. And uh, finally, talking about the Pratts. No, I'm not talking about Chris Pratt. I'm talking about Spencer Pratt and his sister, Stephanie Pratt. They had a very public falling out earlier this year. And it made me happy to see that Stephanie Pratt went to visit Spencer and his newborn son, Gunner. And that fence has been mended. She posted on Instagram about her love for her brother. Nice to see that the Christmas spirit has filled her up and the power and healing that a baby can bring into the world as well. That is all for today, you gorgeous, sexy person. Thank you for being so smart and kind and beautiful to watch this. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Come here, Teddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, fine. I'll go to you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Um, follow me if you're not following me yet. And also, most importantly, hit the share button. Mwah!